Welcome to the Whole Food Plant-Based Cooking Show, where we make plant-based cooking easy. I'm Jill, and today I'm going to show you how to make a super easy and delicious lemon curd. Because it's the all-free whole food plant-based cooking show. Okay, so a lemon curd. Definitely, you're going to need your some lemons, and these are just regular lemons, but you could also use Meyer lemons. But typically, lemon curd is made uh, with some stuff that we don't want to eat on, on a plant-based diet. So I'm going to show you how to make it with refined sugar-free and super healthy. So what we're going to start with are some rolled oats. We're going to start with half of a cup. And we're just going to put that in the blender. And then we have two cups of water. And we're just going to blend this first and then we're going to strain out the pulp. Okay, I'm just going to blend it on high for about one minute. Okay, so I am going to use a nut milk bag. Um, if you don't have a nut milk bag, you could probably just use one of the larger strainers like this that's just a little bit larger. But I like to get make this a little bit more fine. I don't like to have the chunks in the lemon curd. So we're just going to do this. And you can save that pulp from these. Put it in the refrigerator. You can add it to your oatmeal in the morning or use it as oatmeal in the morning. Or what I do, I keep, I add it to a little container that I keep in the freezer and once I have enough, then I can add it to, you know, baked goods, just a little bit at a time because that's all that good fiber in there. But for this recipe, you don't really need all the fiber in there. Okay, so let's set that aside. Okay, I'm just gonna do a quick rinse of this so that I can put this back in my blender. Okay, so now I'm gonna add my milk and some of the other ingredients. Or actually, just for the first step, we're just gonna add the dates because we wanna blend the dates into this and then strain it again, strain out any big uh, chunks of date that might be left. So I've got four medjool dates, which is about a half a cup of dates. We're gonna blend that again for anywhere from 30 seconds to one minute. Okay, super easy, right? Okay, and what you're gonna need, you're gonna need a small saucepan and then another uh, screen like this. I'm just gonna do that. Pour it over my saucepan so I can just catch the date chunks in this little sieve. It just takes a little bit of patience. You know, if you have a larger sieve, that would probably work better. Wouldn't take you quite as much time then. I need a spoon, actually. Grab a spoon. This is so, so easy and really delicious. That's one of the things I know I've, I've kind of missed since going plant-based is lemon curd. When we lived overseas for a while, that was a really big deal. It was a traditional, I guess it's kind of a European thing, maybe. We just have it on a little piece of toast in the morning or in the afternoon with a little cup of coffee or tea. Just delicious. A really Nice, simple little treat. It's very low sugar, low fat. I just love it. Okay, so when we get done straining this, uh, I'm gonna get my burner out. I'm gonna replace this blender with a, a burner, and then I'll show you how to get this to thicken up. While we're waiting for that, 
I would like to share with you some of the exciting things we offer here on the show. Our official website, plantbasedcookingshow.com, offers hundreds of our original free step-by-step -step video recipes, as well as tips and resources for everyday plant-based living. For more in-depth learning, we created the 28 Days Plant-Based Made Easy course, which will teach you everything you need to know to successfully transition to a plant-based diet in 28 days. The course includes weekly meal plans and shopping guides, 65 tasty video recipes, and daily learning materials from our most trusted plant-based resources. For big holiday meals, we created the Plant-Based Holiday Feast Made Easy Cooking Class. This course is an in-depth, two-hour, real-time cooking class where I walk you through making a delicious eight-dish holiday meal that's perfect for Thanksgiving and Christmas-style feast. All of our classes offer lifetime access so you can take your time and work through them at your own pace and revisit them as much as you like. Our plant-based made easy community offers our basic free membership that is free for life and is great for staying in the loop. And our legends membership for $15 a month that offers instant access to all of our digital products, including our 28 day course and holiday feast cooking class, our growing line of printable cookbooks, wholesale discounts on our branded apparel and named credit in the show. Okay, let's get back to the show. Okay, so now I have my burner out. I'm just gonna put my pan on there. I'm not gonna turn it on yet because we need to add our other ingredients. Okay, so we are going to zest one lemon first and it's best if you can get organic lemons because you're using the peel or the skin. So we just need maybe about a half a teaspoon, just a pinch of lemon zest. And if you see that, you don't want to get down too far. You don't really want to see white because that's the pith that tastes really bitter. You just want to get the very surface of that skin. That's where all those good, healthy, essential oils are. Okay, we're just going to tap that into the bowl. Okay, and we're going to use these lemons. So we need to squeeze about a quarter of a cup of lemon juice, maybe just a, a tad bit more than a quarter of a cup. So it just depends on the size of your lemons. You know, if you have little teeny lemons, it might take more. But I'm thinking it will probably only take about one lemon. That looks about good. Okay, we're just going to add that to that. Okay, and I'm just going to start this heating because it takes a couple seconds. And we're going to add about uh, between a half teaspoon and a teaspoon of vanilla, just to estimate. Oops, little glug glug. And then to give it, because, you know, lemon juice doesn't typically have that yellow color, we're going to use just a pinch of turmeric. And you won't really taste it, but you kind of want to have that really nice, vibrant yellow color in there. So just a pinch. And you can always adjust that as you go if you think it needs just a little bit more. Okay. So now it's starting to heat and you just want to watch it really carefully. The good thing about this, we don't have to use cornstarch or any kind of uh, thickener because the starch from the oats acts as a thickener. So you just have to keep whisking this until you think it's the desired consistency that you want. Essentially, it's like pudding. So we're just gonna wait. So this is the consistency that you're gonna want. It looks just like pudding, and that's it. It only took about, about five minutes. Okay. So now what you wanna do, you take it off the heat, and you can put it in a container and put it in your fridge. And this will last for a good couple weeks, but it probably won't make it that far because it's so delicious. You're gonna eat it way before then. But you can use this, you know, put a little bit on your toast in the morning or maybe add a little glob in your oatmeal. That would be fantastic. Or spread it uh, on a cracker, which is what I'm gonna do because I really like the crunchy, crunchiness of it. Although this is really, really hot still. But I just need to have a little bit of a taste. 
Okay. Mmm. That's so delicious. So go ahead and give it a try. And I'll see you next time.